Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod everyone, Noah here and in this devlog video I'm going to be sharing with you the progress I've been making on my 2D platformer game, The Dreadful Whispers. And oh man, I can confidently say that I've made a ton of progress, heaps and heaps of it. I've probably gotten more done during these past 14 days since the last devlog than I had the past two months, and I'm also at my most motivated and inspired lately. I started work on The Dreadful Whispers around January of this year, and I must admit it was quite often a real drag. Bugs would constantly pop up, and I would regularly daydream of quitting and starting something new and fresh. It's just the way things can get sometimes when working on longer projects. But not anymore, now the end is clearly in sight and the game is in top-notch shape. Now I'm kind of in a tricky situation right now. On one hand I want to share my progress and show you what I've been making and doing, but on the other I don't want to spoil the many surprises and levels. I would like you to enter the game world with fresh eyes. Still, I'm going to quickly talk about what I've been creating and doing, so this devlog doesn't just last two minutes. So first of all, visuals. As Andrew pointed out in the comments, the art two weeks ago wasn't at its best. Scenes felt a bit washed out, with limp colours and a real lack of movement. So I got to work changing colours, to make it more visually interesting and pleasing. For example, we go from this muddy brownish red to something more deep and menacing. From this greyish blue to deep, much more vibrant blues and purples and then I added on top of each level some cool particle effects, which adds just so much more life and appeal to the scenes. Now they're no longer static and boring. So yeah, here's some more before and after comparisons. Then I worked on making the player's death a lot more interesting. Before, this is how it looked, and now there's this, a horrific blood monster that seems to howl at your face. So yeah, this makes death a bit less frustrating and uninteresting. Now, you might remember that about two weeks ago, I asked if anyone would be interested in helping me with the music for The Dreadful Whispers, and I was overjoyed by the amount of amazing composers willing to help me out with this project. But obviously, choosing someone was super hard. I spent a lot of time listening to their music, trying to figure out who would be best for The Dreadful Whispers. So yeah, thanks so much everyone for the support, and the offers to make music for the game. It was so appreciated, but a choice had to be made, and so I called on Dave Allen. He's got some brilliant music on his website, and I just felt like he would be up to the task of bringing the world of the Dreadful Whispers to life with unique soundtracks. And so after a call and many messages, we've been tirelessly working together making music for the game. I basically try and describe what kind of music I would like to have for a certain part of the game, so something like... For the start, I think something dramatic and scary would be awesome, with some Hollow Knight vibes. So perhaps use the piano and violin for instruments. And Dave will do the rest at lightning speed. And whoa, as I've always said, sound and music add so much to the experience. I mean, have you ever tried playing one of your favourite games, say Hollow Knight or Celeste, with no sound, for say an hour? I did, and I promise you the whole experience is a lot less immersive and interesting. So yeah, thanks so much Dave for the help, can't wait for you to make more music and finish this game with me. I think a part of why I feel very energised and motivated for the Dreadful Whispers lately is knowing I have someone else on the team, helping me out but also relying on me making progress so he can make progress. I mean, I needed to finish X amount of levels to pass them on to Dave so he could figure out what music would go well with them. Big motivation boost there. Okay, then there's cutscenes. Lots of time was spent on those two either making new ones or adding sounds to already existing ones. So I used Camtasia Studio 9 to make my cutscenes, as said in the previous devlog, drawing in Photoshop and then importing my pictures inside of Camtasia to assemble them all and add cool transitions between them. Then with Audacity I would work on sound effects, making very, very weird noises with my voice. <laughs> 
editing it and adding it to the cutscene. All characters in the world, be that NPCs or the player, speak in a weird gibberish language. <laughs> It's just a lot of fun to do, and I feel makes for interesting, weird characters. I also don't need lots of great voice actors helping me out. Just give a quick call to my bro, ask him to spit something weird in the microphone, and there we go, job done. Oh, and I also used freesounds.org for sound effects. This website is incredible. It's just filled to the brim with great sound effects to help you out. From explosions, to screams, to water splashes whatever you want. And yeah, it just felt so good playing through the game the other night, seeing the story unfurl with cutscenes, music, nice new effects and colours, weird characters and more. And before I forget, I also created a main menu with a cool little fade in and out animation. I'll still need to add a few buttons to it, but a big part of the job is done. And lots of other stuff was done too, or fixed or changed. But I don't want to bore you or spoil this small game, so I'll leave things there. This week I'm going to continue work on the ending of the game and make lots of sound effects for when the character jumps or lands for example, or when he reaches the twirly golden portal or lands on some deadly spikes. And I would also like to try and make some levels less frustrating or quirky to get around. I really want to avoid at all cost players quitting the game because of weird controls or silly puzzles. In the meantime, if you have any questions about the game, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer each and every one. I hope you're really excited to delve into the world of the Dreadful Whispers. Shouldn't be too long at all now. Oh, and for those of you expecting a level design contest, I'm afraid I've changed my mind on that. And I'd rather spend my time making the game and preparing other new exciting projects rather than organizing such an event. Alright, before leaving you, here's a big thank you to my patrons for their financial support. I've said it a hundred times before, but I'll say it again, you guys are amazing. Okay, stay tuned, cheers!